This is five extremely useful ways to start a song. So if you have no idea how to start a song or you often struggle with creator's block, this is the video for you. First way is to start with an ARP. ARPs are a type of repetitive melody pattern and they're really fun to use as a major or minor chord. To build a chord, we take any note plus a major or minor third. We'll take a minor third and a fifth. Now we have a minor chord, but now we have to arpeggiate it, which just means to create some repetitive melody out of this chord. So I'm just going to spread it out like this, and then that's it. We keep repeating this. So here's my art melody. And that sounds cool, but it's still not creating a vibe. So now what I'm going to do is I'm going to add a whole bunch of reverb with a couple different reverb plugins. The stock reverb and then this Shimmer Reverse, one of my favorite reverb plugins. Another thing you can add to ARPs to add another dimension to the ARP melody is to add an Echo or a Delay plugin. So what's cool about this ARP is that since it's a minor chord, we get that nice deep sound. But since it's just a minor chord, what we can do is we can move this middle note up and try it as a major chord. This will give us a bit more of a positive major sound. Completely different than that minor chord. I'm in a dark mood though. I'm gonna go back to that minor chord and show you the next step. Load up a bass sound that matches the energy of that ARP. I have this nice deep stab. And now I can begin harmonizing with this ARP and come up with something cool. And then we can drop a bass and we just started a song. That is awesome. The second method is to steal chords from another artist. This is okay to do for two reasons. The first reason is that chords are not copyrightable because we're all using the same chords anyway. And the second reason is that there are an infinite number of ways to make your song sound different anyway. And I'm gonna show you how to do that. I'm gonna steal the chords from Woke Up In Love by Kygo. Lately I've been losing these nights one more. Kygo woke up in love chords boom we got a website right here it's going to tell us what chords are in that song we have a g a d an a and a b minor his song played the chords with the piano so what sound am i going to use to avoid sounding like kygo not a piano we have a g a d an a and a b minor here's my root notes And then we have the fifth. And then finally, we'll add our thirds. To make these chords a little bit unique, spread around the voices, add some notes, and really add you to them. Yeah! Let's take these root notes and drop a dirty bass. We'll add some drums. I don't know about you, but to me it sounds like we just started a song. The next method is to start with a full length vocal acapella. I'm gonna use an acapella from my new vocal pack that I just dropped right now. It has five full length professional studio acapellas. The pack is called Universal Vocals because the vocals work in any genre. So grab the pack and follow along. Starting with a vocal acapella is awesome because the song is practically done because now we get the arrangement, we get the key signature and the BPM. All we have to do is harmonize with it and do cool things. Here's the vocal. It was nighttime when I met to your eyes locked on mine. 
I've been meaning to forget you after all this time. Let's make this vocal come to life with some beautiful harmonies. This vocal is in C minor. So what I'm gonna do to calibrate my brain is I'm just gonna put a nice bass line hitting a dotted rhythm on the C note because we're in C minor. It was nighttime when I met to you, your eyes locked on mine. I'm already in this, ready? Let's add some more harmony. I'm gonna take these notes, put them up an octave, and then put a minor third. Actually gonna take this third, put it up an octave. I like the sound of that. I'm gonna keep that for the verse. And then we start breaking down into the pre-chorus. End of September, we both parted. I think it would be very satisfying if we step down to that note. End of September, we both parted ways. And June, I remember, seems so far away. Oh. And then we gotta hit like the curious note, and it's gonna be this note. That's how to start a song with an acapella. The next method is to start a song using a way or method that you've never used before. For example, I would never start a song with somebody else's chord sample. I like to make the chords, but I'm not always in a chord writing mood. So what do I do if I would never start a song using somebody else's chords? Use somebody else's chords. I went on splice.com, which is a database of tons and tons of samples, and I found these guitar chords. Recorded guitar chords are something I would never use. And then I was like, well, maybe I should just add some drums to them and then I'll delete the chords and I'll write the chords myself. So then I write these drums. Then I was like, okay, I'll add one more thing to the chords and then I'll delete them and I'll, I'll rewrite them. So I add this bass. And at this point, I'm really starting to vibe out to this Malibu sunset drum and bass sounding song. And so I added a vocal lead. And before I knew it, I had a full length drum and bass song using somebody else's chords and I don't even make drum and bass. So that just goes to show the effectiveness behind starting a song using a method you would never think to use. Cause you might learn something about yourself and end up making a genre that you didn't even think you were capable of. This final method is to start with drums and one single chord. I have a kick, a hat, and then a clap. Let's make the old four on the floor beat. So let's go ahead and grab a nice piano and make one chord. I'm gonna take this F and just drag out a dotted eighth pattern. Drag this out. So now we got this. So for a chord, we need the fifth and then the seventh. Oh yeah, that sounds really nice. And we'll go ahead and add that minor third. See, like now I'm getting somewhere. And then we can just change what the second half of this progression does. Uh, yeah. And then we can drop a bass and we just started a song. That's a video for you guys. Thanks so much for watching. Be sure to check out my vocal pack below and also my one-on-one -on -one coaching program. Stay tuned for the next video.